All right, so hey everybody, we've got uh, Melinda, and I, I like to call her MGT, Melinda Torres and her company. Uh, tell me your company's name one more time. We are Making Greatness Together. What's the name of the company? Making Greatness Together Fundraising. So ma Making Greatness Together Fundraising, right? And see, mm -hmm. one of the things I like to do, everybody, is when you say a name of your business, and you, if it leaves a question in somebody's mind, then what I do is say, hey, listen, tell me more, either with oh, yeah. a byline or making greatness together fundraising. Just that one line. And then people go, oh, yeah. And then they go, oh, yeah. shoot, I like that. Making greatness together fundraising. MGT, that's what I like to call her. So what we're going to be doing is a little Q&A. And uh, she's got some specific questions. I've already sent her some information earlier today. You know, because let me tell you the story. I see on, where did you post this again? Facebook, of course, you know. Right, you, you posted a, a, you, your fundraising success for uh, this particular company, organization on Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. So now I say, I come on and I say, okay, here are five other things you can do with that one picture. You see, and this is the big part when you're talking about maximize your business. Now, if I was working with an individual and they were trying to get some things going, this would be the monetize your life approach. But now when I'm helping a company, it's maximize your business. So can you remember the five things I suggested that you do with that one picture? Yeah. Um, explain what's happening. Explain what's happening. Duh. All right. Now we're going to do that on video. Mm -hmm. Right. So now you can go just a real quick blur. It doesn't have to be long. Yeah. You know, something super simple. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds. Hey, guys, had a really, really good time, was able to meet our goal, exceeded by X amount of dollars for this company. Da, 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 mm -hmm. da, da, da. All right. What's the other one? Uh, what's the check for? Yeah. So it's explained what's the check for. So, hey, look, we got this is how we represent you. This is how we, you know, Focus on you. These big old checks play really, really well, right? People love to see that stuff and then they can yeah. show it around. Now you're getting MGT, Making Greatness Together Fundraising out there and people are going, who is that? What's going on over there? What's this big old check? What are they being presented with? You come on and just do a blurb and explain it. And that's another yeah. piece of content. What was the third one? It makes sense. Who gave it? So you got to talk about who you are, right? In certain senses, we may not want to praise ourselves, but when we're in business, we better make sure that that thing is known by everybody. Ty does not mind letting you know that they're the best, right? Yep. So that makes uh, sense. What's that? What's the fourth one? Uh, how will it help? How will it help? So in talking about how will it help, now what you're doing is saying, here's who we are. Right. And then they go, oh, you know, you're talking too much about yourself. And they said, well, let me tell you how we help this organization and what we love to do. And then you have that consistent story. Right. That you're you know, over, oh, yeah. over and over again. And people are saying, those, aren't those the make make uh, greatness together, folks? They, yeah, they do fundraising, you know. To have kind yeah. of like an um, almost like a script, you fill this in with any time this situation happens. That yeah. makes sense. And it becomes consistent, a consistent story upon story upon story. And they're like, just like I could tell you, you know, you, you know, certain, certain commercials, as soon as you see them, you know, the byline, you know what they're getting yeah. ready to say is something right. That you can identify by whatever they consistently say. And that's going to be the deal. Then they mm -hmm. see MGT and they go, I know the story. Did I have yeah. a fifth one? Did I have a fifth one or not? No, just that. Um, but now let's talk about it. Let's, uh, you know, dig into oh, it a little bit. To go live on the MGT page. Well, the website is not live yet. Okay. Well, but you have a, you have a Facebook business page for MGT. I do. Right. There's a, no one on there. I don't think I have anyone following right now. That's not the point. This is what I'm going to get to. Okay. Is okay. here, here's the wonderful thing about this, Right. You can very a couple of things you can do. You can very quickly get anybody from your personal page. Just hit the link, follow me over here, and then then start saying, "Hey, listen, this is where you'll find me. You'll find me over here." 
So you hit them and they do, 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 do all the people and you keep on inviting them, keep on inviting them and you'll get maybe a third that come over. And then the next time on the right hand side, it says, hey, these are some folks that need to be over in your page. And you keep hitting them in. Right. And inviting them over. And okay. then here's the great thing is when you go live, what you have the opportunity to do is put content out there that is you talking live. You got the big check saying, or you got that picture and say, hey, listen, I want to show you guys this. I want to show you this picture of us presenting to so-and-so. But it's you just talking, getting on. You may have three people to see the first one. You may have four people to see the second one. You may have 40 that sees the 10th one. Okay. The point is, is that you're building up. And if somebody likes it and they want to share it, see, because then you invite and tag the people that you're talking about. Because once that video goes live, you also it also records automatically. Okay. It, okay. So now you can grab the record. That's the wonderful thing about leveraging Facebook. They do it for you. Ah. So you go live, they record it for you, save you some time. So you might as well continue to go live, right? And I mean, you have oh, all yeah. your propers, right? You have a little script in your mind that you want to say. You don't want you don't want to cuss and all that kind of stuff on there, right? Right. right. And you just want to make sure that you are now presenting this material in such a way that you're saying, look, I'm so excited. I just want to go live. Come on real quick. And you'd be surprised how many people will start picking up on that. And then okay. when you share that, they, you, they send your information to their network. And then your network jumps okay. on and goes, well, what is this, you know, making greatness together stuff, you know, fundraising. Mm-hmm. What are they doing over there? This is a nice, positive, you know, vibe. I like that. What's going on? And then you're coming on doing these lives, just talking about it. You come on, do a live, talking about how you're building out the next campaign and, t- you know, talking about well, how vulnerable you are. Says, Look, I'm a little scared about this one. This one's a $10,000 campaign. So I got to dig in. So I'm going to my resources. I'm talking to folks. I'm matching up things. And what you're doing by doing this is showing people a little bit of the process without getting into your secret sauce. And mm. you say, dang, if she'll work that hard for them, she'll work that hard for us. Yeah, yeah. Right? And then now that becomes content for you. So when someone says, well, I don't, I've never heard of MGT. And he says, oh, okay, well, let me, let me give you a link. This goes over to our, our Facebook page. And it kind of gives you an idea of what we're talking about and what we do. Okay. Right. And you can have all, right. all that stuff. Now they go over and check that out. And then they go, huh? Oh, I know that organization. Oh, they've got money for them. Oh my God. They're, they're working on a campaign for them. And then they don't, they being people that, you know, need money, they don't want to miss out. They don't want to miss out all on your right. grind and your hustle. And you, you continually tell the story. Hey guys, you know what we do over here. We are absolutely fanatical and obsessed about finding great company. You know, what's that line that we had? Matching. Connecting cool people to or kind people to cool causes. Kind people. The K is uh, the repetition of K is a little, what they call alliteration, right? Mm. Kind people to cool causes. Are you a kind person today? Right. This is you talking. Are you a kind mm-hmm. person today? Can we connect you to a cool cause? We've got some. Right now, for example, we would really like, and then you go into your list. We were really, and then you're Mm -hmm. talking about that next campaign. We would really like to get people surrounding the idea of saving these animals because guess what? This is what's happening. Now, Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about sending money overseas and doing that kind of stuff. You know, we respect that, but here's what we're talking about right here, right? That pet is like our, our little person. So when we can do this, they're into the campaign. Don't even start. I get all teared up about it. And and listen, there's nothing wrong with showing your emotions for what matters to you. Mm-hmm. People see that. This is not, it's like, look, I'm getting, you know, you get welled up just talking about it, right? People see that realness in you. And this is no marketing, uh, you know, voodoo. This is just you being who you are for what you do and you happen to do it for your company. Mm-hmm. All right. What other questions did you got for yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. So I was wondering, you said show the picture and then go into a video ex- answering those questions, right? 
-hmm. So how would I do that? Because I don't really have that skill. Would it, could I just do it if I'm videoing myself with a phone, like flash to my lap, to like the desktop? Well, I mean, that's one way you could do it, right? Or you can get some very inexpensive capture software, stuff for free. Okay. Right. And um, one that comes to mind is, one that comes to mind is, um, it's by TechSmith. It's, uh, shoot, I just used it earlier today. Did and you say is, capture? Yeah, there's some capture software. In other words, it allows you, oh, for that matter, you probably could. Maybe on my phone. Bring it up on your phone and or your, your laptop, right? Go to that page, laptop, and then do a snip. Oh. Use Microsoft. What do you got, uh, uh, Apple or what? No, I don't know what this is. HP. Oh, yeah. So HP. So it's a Microsoft product, right? So, uh -huh. or I should say it's probably running, you know, Windows 10, Windows 7 or something yeah. like that. So you can literally go down in the bottom of the thing, hit SNIP, type it in, okay. right? Let me show you. I'll do it, uh, a, a screen capture for you. Uh, and uh, let's see, which one do I want to use? You're the app king, Randy. Hey, man, I, I have learned and have been doing some interesting things. Oh, shoot. Where's, where's my thing at here? No, I don't want that one. I want this one. Yeah, everything that you said, I'm like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. Duh. And, and then, and then it's, the, it's the do part of it. So, okay, I haven't had some keywords up here. Don't mind them. But um, so you can go down here to right here. You see where the Windows start button is? If you have that, right? If you have a start button or you can type it in here, you can just type S N I P. Oh, yeah, happens. yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. The snip tool comes up. Right. So now the yep. snip tool comes up and it says, okay, what do you want to do, dude? And it says it'll, it'll, you, it, it comes up and then it'll come up here in a second. All right. And then you say, hey, I want to create a new snip. You know the story, right? So create a new snip. Yeah. Just go. I mean, it'll, it'll walk with you right through it. Yeah. Yeah. Just create a new snip. So you say, okay, I want to capture this picture right here. Right. And then you capture the picture. Then, like I say, what you can do is, oh, that's what I was thinking about. Snag it. Snag it. It's a TechSmith it. product. It, it is really, really inexpensive. It, uh, I think they may even have a free version. I'm not sure. I use Snag it and I use Camtasia for my editing software, right? Really inexpensive stuff. And I mean, you could just do a, a million things with it. In fact, I did a video earlier today for my podcast showing people how to put their podcast right? And I just used, uh, I used um, Camtasia. So you can too, right? So anyway, you got your snip here, right? You okay. See, you got your snip and then you can just save it to your, um, save it to your um, pictures or whatever. And then what you could do is you could literally bring it up. Let's see if I save this, save as, right? You save as whatever you want to save it as, save it into your pictures, I like to just, you know, call it snip or whatever, change it over. Yeah, to this pictures, boom, boom. it does. It gives you. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. OK, OK. I just I just did it on accident. I get it. OK, so can you see the screen? OK, Um, it just looks like a list. Oh, OK. All right. So you, do you see me moving this thing? No. It says, all right. So it says my screen share is paused for some reason. All right, so let's stop this. But anyway, so that okay. becomes what you could do. You can go and okay. then create that snip and then now put it in one of your, you know, one of these, like I say, free software things. If you're going to be a screencast-o-matic or you're going to use, yeah, screencast-o-matic is a free one. And I think that one um, allows you to put new pictures in there, right? And then now you can okay. just record on it. Oh, talk about it. Put it on your screen. It says, hey, I want to show everybody this. Um, and, you know, this is what we did. So you got it on the screen and then it has you on one other side. I can walk you through all that. Don't worry about it. OK, that makes sense. OK. Yep, yep. And then now you talk about it. Now that becomes a video that you have. Right. Yeah. Now have that video or when you're doing your live. Now, this takes a little digging into it a little bit and it gets me confused sometimes. But when you're live, you could pull up a window and just show it, right? Or for that, oh, you know what? I don't know why we're making this hard for ourselves. What? You can do it right here in Zoom. You got, you pull up the Zoom, you hit screen share, you go over to the picture. Oh, 
God. Yes. Ah. And then now you, it's, it's showing the picture. You're talking, stop, share. You come back on and close. I don't know why. We're, oh, you know, God. Why, so you already got it. You might as well use it. And it's a part of your yeah. business. So then we can go right over there, just like we did. Share the screen. And you're going to be telling people what this picture is. And then you leave in there. Hey, listen, if you want to get in touch with me with what we do, go over to, you know, www dot com right and or your facebook page or leave it because you can put it in the bottom instead of putting your name uh, mg torres you can literally put the website and or facebook page where they can find it and you can say hey listen i don't have my name in here but you can see the bitly link or www dot where you can get more information about what we're doing and how we can help your organization okay I one, love it. One piece of content, repurposing using it, it like for a lot. Yeah, I yep. Yep. Tag that, I mean, of course, that makes sense. You can tag organizations that you're thinking about working with. See yeah, I, mean? I already have some. I'm like, I don't want to call them straight out, but I do want them to know that I'm rolling and it's time to jump on the send, wagon. Send them the video, right? And they know that you're a pro, right? You have you know everything you know down and locked down, right? And then you uh, you you do your video, and then you you just tag them in. Now they don't have to accept, but you tag yeah. them in. You find them on LinkedIn. You see what I mean? And you send them a message saying, "Hey, listen, mm -hmm. right now uh, the idea of connecting is on everybody's mind." It says, "Listen, we just ran an awesome campaign for you know an organization, and we would like to see if this is something you'd be interested in." Mm -hmm. You know, but before we do that, let's talk. You see what I mean? You put a little bit yeah. of ask in there because everybody's sending those messages that say, you know, I want to work with you. I, I put people through the ringer when they call me up on uh, LinkedIn. I'm serious. A guy just called me and says, hey, Randy, you know, how long have you been on LinkedIn? All right. You can see I, that. I'm a long-term LinkedIner. I says, hey, but listen, how about this? What do you think based on what we both do that we can create together? Right now, then that like puts a person like, okay, I'm, I'm not just going to try to, you know, get his money. Maybe we can get some money together by creating something <laughs> interesting. How do you think we have synergy? What do you think we could do with uh, being in the same space? Could we create something when we talk? You know, I like to record a bit, something like that, something simple, yeah. but something that really helps you get to what you're trying to do. That makes sense. You got yeah. any other questions totally. for me? I got about eight minutes. That I can no, do. no, we're good. Um, I now have these tasks to do and I found my little phone stand. So I'm going to give it a shot so that people really understand what's going on. And I love having this as a little template to kind of guide that video. So it doesn't go too off, you know, off the yeah. tracks and yeah. I stay focused and yeah. to the and point. You, and you can edit that, right? I mean, you yeah. can edit out anything that you feel that goes a little bit beyond what you're trying to do. And make sure that when you're talking, have your, your stand. Don't have it down. I saw a guy today. He did a video and he's looking down at the camera. Here's what that does. It shows everything under your chin, A. Yeah. It shows all the stuff in your nose. And all he had, you know, gray nose hairs and the whole deal. I was like, bro, I took a picture of this. This man, look, talk, let's talk, right? You want to have it up a little bit. Okay. So that it's, you're looking up. And, and you, you know, it has the opportunity in your case, you want to have it at about eye level. So, you know, okay, put it on so I'll something. bring it up a little bit. Yeah. Put your dongle on something, not so too high, like, but just about like right here. Okay. You see what I mean? You don't want to be like, like the little person in the, in the uh, video. You want to be, <laughs> you know what I mean? And adjust it so that you can do these things that we talk about, right? You really want to yeah, talk yeah. about something serious. You really want to get into it, guys. I really want to tell you something. Let me tell you how this affected my heart when stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I was putting this darn thing together and I've been there where I was, I was doing a ghostwriting project for somebody and I am crying as I'm typing in the information oh. because of what happened in her life. Um, you know, with her, or with her, I think it was her grandson, you know, that, you know, died. And I was typing, I know the folks and I'm like, Oh man, I remember when it happened, I'm crying. I'm trying to type. It's just bad. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, those are just some things to consider, man, as you get going. And in certain cases, if something touches your heart, then there's nothing wrong with showing your emotion mm -hmm. to people you're trying to reach. Because if you'll get emotional with 
with that particular situation, you might get emotional with, in a good way with theirs and you will come across better. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense too. You know, I think that that's all right to uh, be vulnerable. People really know and understand that you are truly there for the mission, you know, not solely for yourself, but that you really believe in what you're doing. I think that's pretty important in this, in this line of work. So from that, I see you say a lot, that makes sense, but I wanted to make, I want you to be able to act on these things, right? Nothing else matters. Is it easy enough for you to go, I can do a next step? Yeah. Any technical questions that you have, just give me a call and then I'll walk you through some stuff. Okay. All right. So before, so before we go in the next five minutes, what, how else have things been going? That was an awesome campaign that you did. Very yeah. proud to see you get that work in. It was, it was great. And they were all so kind. Um, but I already am working with another organization for something bigger than I ever imagined, um, money wise and everything, you know, like goals. And I just signed up for the next section of my um, fundraising management course through the Lilly School of Philanthropy awesome. uh, on a scholarship. That's which all is cool. good. All, all um, that stuff. Yeah. So you, I'm just learning. You leverage Lots all of learning. that. Yes. It's really, I'm actually learning that my position may be in coming in to find these organizations and help them assess their situation and figure out what's missing. I'm not going to be able to raise them money if there are holes in their plans. So let's get it together from there and then see where we can go. Absolutely. Um, and I'm learning all that stuff. How to and, do that, how to and, analyze. And that's so leverageable, right? So now in, in all of this, just one last piece, in all that you're doing, remember this, that becomes stuff that you can utilize in not only the work, but also in the um, content that you create, the narration. You know, it's like, you know, I've oh, always yeah. gotten out there and I've hustled and I've just done this, that, and the other. But I found when I was taking this course in such and such, that there is a quicker way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that for the client that I'm working with now, and then I'll report back to you guys and see how how it went. Mm, Yeah. Right? And then you use the stuff in the course as a test. You're testing to see if it works. And then you say, well, shoot, that worked. You report back, that worked awesome. So I'd really like to do this for your organization before everybody catches on. This is brand new, just came out was over there in some country and they did it over there and it worked and we do it. So let me, let me work with you, you know, call, yeah. call me up. I'll give you a little discount because it's brand new. That's another call to action. Send that out to people. Yep. Saying, oh, man, she's mean, on fire. I'm stoked to be having this opportunity to learn all those ins and outs besides all of the things and all of the um, knowledge that Springs Yard dropped in my lap. Yeah. That combined with, a certification from the Lilly School of Philanthropy. Yo, unstoppable. Yep, yep. And Whatever act, it act, is. act. Always put stuff in motion. Don't worry about whether or not it's perfect. You I can appreciate fix that. So much stuff in post production. Post production. You put it in. You know. You can change colors. Uh, video brighter. Uh, yeah. Get rid of ums and ahs. All kind of stuff. But if you get okay. no content, nothing. Can't do nothing. Yeah. Okay. Hope that's helpful. Yeah. Got it. Thanks, Randy. Yes, ma'am. Anytime. Have a good holiday. All right. You too. Hold on.